TDPK Podcasts, Thailand Game Changer, inside the minds of Thailand's innovators. Hi, this is Michael Waits, and welcome back to the Thailand Game Changer. Today, I'm joined by Wipawi Wong Sirsak, a co-founder and the chief commercial officer at Goabi. How are you doing today? Uh, hello. Actually, you can call me Pui. Pui. It's easier. Yeah. Not really. Wipui is way easier. Pui, 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 Pui. Yeah. Pui. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like how you do all the tones. Yeah, because too. They, like for Thai people, they have like five tones. So right. Pui. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm not gonna get that right. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for trying to help yeah. me. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How's your foot feeling? <laughs> uh, actually, today my ankle is twitched, but okay, I can manage. I you mean, can manage apart it. from my leg, everything is okay. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything good, is fine. Good to know. Uh-huh. Can you give our audience a little bit of your background for mm-hmm. context? Uh, my name is Pui. Uh-huh. So, like, uh, when I was in the college, mm-hmm. I graduated from Thammasat University. Okay. Uh huh. Major in PR. In PR. Yeah, in PR. So that's why I mean, like, uh, my faculty is journalist and mass communication. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, like, the communication is like the key point that you have to know about when you learn when you when when you were young. Got it. So it's like you have to learn how to communicate to like, uh, everyone may be like different type of level and also like I graduated in major in PR, right? Right. So that's why you have to know about like how to communicate your uh things to like other channels. Yeah. So to me, communication is very it's so important mm-hmm. because if you can get a message across, I like to call it message control. Okay. If you can control message, you can control basically an entire ecosystem. Yes, and also like sometimes you have to know like uh what type of the uh, the channel that you have to like communicate to them as well. Maybe like this one, they fit to this channel. Maybe this one, they they fit to another channel as right. well. Yeah. So when you were studying at Thomas, did you study digital marketing as well? Uh, or, or more, just more traditional. Yeah, it's more traditional. Like it's 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 not uh dig- digital. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But you didn't graduate that long ago. But I guess when you were still studying. It, I think like from that time like digital trend has come. Right. So that's why like we like when we graduate, right? So like the trend of digital it's very famous from that time. Fine. So like I start to learn a little bit about that <clears throat> things. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But so you studied communications, you worked in communications, mm-hmm. right? And now you do communications as part yeah. of part of the CCO, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. You're mm-hmm. very important just to do marketing yeah. and the commercial side, right? Mm-hmm. What got you so interested in it? Like, did your brother do it? Did your mother do it? Did your dad own a TV station? Okay, so to be honest, I'm only one child. <laughs> and when I was young, right? So Wait, say I, that again. You're what? I'm I'm only one child and the family. Only one child. Yeah, okay, great. and when I was young, I don't have like brother or sister to play so all with. These conversations we had before. Yeah, right? your so that's why exist. you know, like, uh, okay. I have like lots of dolls. <laughs> Like teddy bear and everyone, so like I teach them. <laughs> so I just feel like no, I want to teach someone. So I like to like uh, talk, but I mean my mom and my dad like they're working, right? So like I have no one to talk with, so I have to talk with like teddy bear and also the rapid dolls. So it means that I mean like I just I want to be a teacher and right. that's um. Mm-hmm. But I mean like okay, like compared to now, so a uh, teacher may be like not the things that I'm interested. Right. So like I have a good chance to like work here and then like for uh, as a sales. So I just feel like, okay, the more you talk, the more you know about people. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, like if you go to like see the shop, right? Mm-hmm. You have like different character of the shop. Maybe like they are so aggressive or like they are so like shy. So how you communicate to them right yeah H- how to like get the things to them yeah so do you use things that you learned and this is a serious question from dealing with the dolls and yeah. the teddy bears to then what you learned in school mm-hmm. and did when you got to school did you feel like i know this because mm-hmm. i did it when i was a little girl uh do you actually, know what i mean yeah 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 maybe like i know something but it's not the things that like I aim to do, right, you know, right, right. yeah. I mean, like because uh, sometimes I don't want to be the teacher, but I just want to communicate something to them. Right. But like, what's the <clears throat> occupation that fit me? Right. So like, okay, like when you start, uh, like studying in the college, so you know yourself, you know, like some career that you want to go to, 
Mm -hmm. right yeah and so when you graduated what was your first job was it right into pr and communication uh no so i worked in advertising agency oh, okay yeah so i worked in media things so that's why uh like i have to like collect all the pr things pr clipping right and then like compare to like other companies like okay. basically like have to like check for the all competitors okay yeah and was all your work in thai or did you do work in english as well uh i work in thai really yeah yeah so, so mostly it's in thai so yeah where did this english come from uh i think when i work in zarola right like which is like before goabi right i mean like they force you to speak english right it's yeah they english. force you all i mean time. like i cannot know why but i mean i want to speak thai but i mean like your boss is like from a uh, foreigners germany, right from yeah germany or from France, yeah right? like how to fight with your boss this is like the <laughs> things that you have to like yeah Did you want to fight with your boss i mean like sometimes i want to say something but what's the word in english or something so that's why i think like i started learn english on that time right so yeah. i have a theory about language <laughs> when you were a little girl right yeah you didn't know any thai either Your parents forced you to learn Thai. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah, very mm -hmm. much the same in my mind. Yeah, <laughs> I learned Japanese the same way. Oh, uh, really? <clears throat> I was in Japan. Mm, they force you, right? Like, <laughs> well, you just have to talk if you want to be able to communicate with someone. This is why I find communication so interesting. Mm -hmm. If you want to communicate with someone at a high level, you have to understand their language. Yes, for sure. Because otherwise, you'll miss the subtlety. But it teaches you a lot about PR. And media as yeah, well. Yeah, especially on PR, right? You have for like sure. to communicate. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So we mentioned Gowabi a few times, but what is it really? Because it's not in the name. Like I don't think anybody could just look at the name and say. Yes. So mm -hmm. what exactly is it? So maybe like people think that's Gowabi. It's from Japan. It looks like Japan. Because Wabi Sabi, right? There's ah, a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's come from this word as well, like Wabi Sabi. Right. Uh huh. It's like finding beauty imperfection of life. <laughs> so that's what exactly what it is. Yeah, okay. it's like wabi sabi. Go is mean like go, like go with wabi sabi. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Like go with beauty. But you're yeah. not Japanese. I'm not Japanese. Samir I'm is not Japanese. Samir Swedish, and He's one of Swedish, my right? co-founder is Russian. Right. So why? Uh, we try to like have the name in Japan because like Thai people like Japan, and then they tend to believe more if like this product come from Japan. <laughs> Right? So, what's your most famous story about Thai people liking Japan? Having uh, a product that actually has a name that looks Japanese, I but mean, isn't. Yeah, I mean, you can say like uh, Thai people like to go to Japan, right? right and right. also like uh, we have like lots of Japanese food, and also like uh, Japanese like influence is come like a lot in in Thailand. So, my favorite Thai product is the fan. <laughs> Hatari. Ah, uh, Hatari. Okay. Because it definitely is trying to pretend right? to be a Japanese brand, <laughs> but it 100% is Thai. Oh uh, yes, uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. I yes. love this. Okay. So, how did the founding team of Gowabi get together? Because you said Samir is from where? You said Swedish. Uh, yeah, he's Swedish. The other guy is Russian. Vadim, Russia, and, and me. Thai. Yeah, I'm Thai. Uh huh. How does that happen? Okay, so like me and Samir, we worked in Rocket Internet together uh, because so he was, used was he to. Work, uh, he were he used to work in Lazada. Okay. And then I work in Salona, so like we kind of like know each other, but I understand. not. The, <coughs> not the not time to like to meet each other, mm. and Vadim and Samir so they met in uh, Singapore. Uh, okay. Yeah, because Vadim worked in Ensogo in Singapore. Mm. Oh my gosh! So he worked at Ensogo. Yeah, so he's been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, and then like they met each other first. It's kind of like they build a house, like CEO and CTO. Right. So it's like they build a house, and for me, so when I join them, so I just like bring the stuff to sell. <laughs> so it's a good combination. <laughs> build a house. Yeah, you build a house. I mean, they have to find someone to sell the things. I mean, yeah. After they finish the house, so like it means that okay, you want to find like some stuff to like sell to the customer. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So what exactly does Goabi do? Okay. Do you download? Go up yet? I Can did a long time ago. Okay, a mm -hmm. long time ago. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you use like any spar? I tried. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. So basically, it's it's very simple. Are you putting pressure on me? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> Because if you use my code, you can get this cow as well. I <laughs> love it. <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> so if you mention about go up right? right? So it's like you can see all the beauty service and all the shop. In one application for men and women. For men and women, yeah. For guys, so it's like you want to go for haircut, mm -hmm. massage, spa, right, 
and uh, for girls, so you can just go for uh, eyelash extension, right. clinics, a Botox. I want uh, a facial more than anything. Nails, yeah, facial That's as well. Yeah, so it's like if you can see this application, so you don't have to like book directly from the shops. Yeah. So what was the model back then? Was mm -hmm. there something that you were trying not copy but you looked at it and said it'll work in this sector as well or was the beauty and spa business always what inspired the three of you to do this so you know I, mean, I mean okay uh, I mean like when you see uh, some <coughs> application that gather all the restaurant like we have a Agoda for the hotel for and travel, why don't we have right. like something that combine everything in terms of beauty so it's mm. yeah so like we we have like some idea about it and also like some uh, pain point that we found Okay, give me, yeah. a, give me a pain point. Uh, like, have. for example, right, uh, like some foreigners, mm -hmm. like they want to uh, call and book to do the service. Oh, like, yes, but right? they cannot speak English. And also, like, when they call the reception, the reception has to, like, ask the staff and then they cannot get back on time and then you, like, miss this chance to go to the spa. Mm -hmm. So that's why this application, it's, you can just click and then pay and everything is finished. And is it two-sided as well? Like, I understand how it works for me, but is there also kind of an operating system for the spa, let's say? Yeah. So uh -huh. you put software f on their side too? Yeah. We also, like, help the spa because, like, in terms of uh, spa, right, they have right. some issue that why this shop is very nice, but when you go there, you can see uh, the staff playing phone. Right, right, And right. then, like, all the seat is empty, so, like... And they have to pay for rent. Right. They have to pay for the staff. They have to pay for the product. Right. Why we don't <laughs> like step in and then help them for this? Right. Because like for uh, our tools, we can help them by fulfill the uh, the customer. Maybe we can just like do off peak time. Maybe uh, if you are empty from two p.m to 4 p.m. Right. You can just do like off-peak doing like 50%. So you have a, so you have a yeah. back end system as well for yeah, them. Uh -huh. So almost like Itigo. Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Do you understand yes. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you can get discounts during off-peak mm -hmm. hours yeah. and then book that. And then we also like help them on marketing channel because uh, some of them, they don't know how to do online marketing by themselves. Right. They just like do ads on Facebook right, and then it's not how, how, how? If, you know, if you don't know what you're doing yeah and then like how you get the good feedback how you get the customer mm -hmm. so that's why like we have all the data that we we have and like we just help them by uh, for the marketing mm -hmm. and also like we also like suggest them to do the promotion and uh, this amount of price you have like to sell on this time or I mean like we we kind of like be a consult for them and how, but how do you how do you get paid as a firm sorry how do you get paid in other words do you get paid for consulting services or do you get uh, paid for we charge them by commission by commission yeah so, book uh -huh. commissions, right? yeah. so <coughs> if you don't get customers so you don't have to pay anything and then we don't charge them like a monthly fee or member fee anything so it's just by commission by commission yeah mm -hmm. so how hard was it at the beginning? Oh, yes. I want to say this. Mm -hmm. To go out and... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I mean, when I start joining Govabi, right? right? And then I try to, like, call the clinics, the spa, and then they were like, what is Govabi? Right. You, you're going to hear, like, what is Govabi? And I was like, Govabi is an application to do this, do this. And then they were like, how can I trust you? Right. Did like, really? Yeah, <clears> of course. <throat> I mean, like, how can I trust you? And how can you bring revenue from me? I can sell. I can also sell. Like, why I have to like use your app, and then I have to pay commission, and why why I have to do this? So I mean, this was a hard story to tell it's, people. It's it's like the the question that you that you will find every time when you call to the shops. Right. So this is really mm -hmm. interesting, though, right? Because yeah. they're happy to pay Facebook, mm -hmm. and they have no relationship with Facebook. They're happy yes. to pay any other sort of platform yeah but when you come to them with like a specific application built just to help them mm -hmm. they're like my owl my owl my, my owl. owl yeah right. and how can i trust you like who are you right. so that's why okay i try to like get meeting with them so meeting in a person is the best face to face yeah face to face and then i try to like okay if i cannot sell for you you don't have to pay anything so let's try <clears throat> and then like when they launch with goa b right? right so like we offer them the marketing channel uh we try to promote them we like send them bloggers or anything so like they start uh, -huh. uh selling and then they start start like trust in goa b trusting right and the best thing is 
they introduce Goa beat to their friends. Right. Yeah. So I think this one it's like it's a good thing that's like we got from the shop owner. Right. Yeah. Because okay, as long as they trust. So it means that okay, they want to work with Goa B and they want to uh, introduce Goa B to uh, their friends. So yeah. do you have like during this process when you were trying to sell, and maybe mm-hmm. now that you've been doing it for a while, yeah, do you have some guiding principles? You know, three things you always do, something like that, when you're trying to get new partners because okay. you can never have enough, mm-hmm. and then new users as well, which is different, mm. right? So when you sell to me, which is different than selling to a spa. What are these principles? Are? I think it's it's a challenge every time when you meet the new shops, right? Right. But the things that you have to think is you have to trust the product. That's all. You have to trust that everyone has to use Goa Beat. Every shop has to use Goa Beat because we bring a uh, customer to them. We fulfill uh, the empty slot to them. So I mean, as long as you trust in product, so the way you present, the way you want to communicate to the shop. So right. I mean, like, that. I think it's it's pretty like important things. Yeah. Are you proud? Do you know what I mean? When yeah. you sign up a new client or when they actually see their revenue grow, do you feel a sense of pride? Yes, I think I'm proud because uh, especially for uh, SME shop, right. right? Like maybe they they try to compare with the big shop, right. big. Uh, maybe like some shop they have lots of branches. Mm-hmm. Like how can I beat them? How right. can I be on Goa B? Because like you guys have uh, the brand shop and also like the famous one. That how can I compare? I just one shop in the corner shop, just right. one branch. Right, right, right. How how can <laughs> I do? I mean, uh, so it's not about uh, like the size that uh, to do business, right? But right. as long as you have the good product and also you have the good service, it's. It's always good. Like, uh, I have experience with one shop. Tell so me. yeah, they are in Ekamai. Okay. Yeah. So we try to like launch them with a special promotion within like one or two days because oh. we have campaign, right? Right. So and then like they're pretty successful because like it's selling well. The promotion it's good, and then like the review is very good. So that's why like you you cannot you cannot say that okay you are the small shop and then they, they cannot sell anything. Right. Yeah. Mm. Do you help re- with retention as well? Yeah. In other words, do your customers continue to go back to the same places? Do they test other places? <clears throat> uh, and do shops ever cancel? Do you know what I mean? No, thank you. I don't want to be on Kowabi anymore. Uh, no, because uh, the more they get customers, so the more they're happy, and then they try to change the promotion, <laughs> and then they want like more customer. I mean, like they ask me like how to do promotion, how to like launch the new promotion. Maybe like this one combine with this one, so it's gonna be like the new thing to the customer as well, and right. then they can find this promotion only on Kowabi. So and it's kind of like benefit to the the customer. So do you do workshops? Do you know what I mean? Like get ten customers in a room and t- teach them how to do mm. marketing and promotions or no? Uh, not, kind, not kind of the workshop, but we know the data that uh, this range we can sell and also if we do this type of promotion, <coughs> we, we can also sell and we have like the grade with the shop. Maybe like if they have lots of branches, right. so we can do like this exact amount price. Right. Maybe like uh, the lower one, we can like do something which is like different from the higher one. Yeah. So you've mentioned the word data two or three times now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a data science team as well? Uh, no, we have the we have the marketing team that we try to like collect all the data because we know the spending of the customer. We know uh, which service that we can sell. So that's why this one is like the the main things that we know is about customer. Got it. Yeah. What was um, COVID nineteen like <laughs> impacting a business where? <clears throat> excuse me. People are meant to go into spas, go get their nails yeah, done. Yeah, I get think. Their Turn back to last year. March. Talk, March t- is talk, the same. Talk me through March. March last year. Everything is shut down. So were you scared? Uh, yeah. Spa, uh, clinics, everything shut down. I think for at least two months. Three months. Three months. For me, all of March. Three well, months. Middle of March to the end, April, May, and most of June. Yeah, yeah. It's right. like three months. And then uh, I have like lots of account to talk with, right? And then they were like, Oh, when it's gonna open, and also like I have to pay salary for my staff. Right. I have to pay for the products. I have to like pay for the rental. And how can I do? Like, they completely lost for that time. Right. So that's why we try to help them, like, 
we try to like uh have them buy a uh, lending because we know right that uh this shop they pay they pay for us like this money we know that this shop uh they can sell I don't know like how much right so that's why like we know exact amount that that like this shop can sell so that's why like we offer them by like uh short term loans you lent money yes so Gowabi itself had money in the in the bank yeah or had cash on hand mm-hmm. and you went to shops mm-hmm. and lent them short term yeah money. because we know all the statistic of them right we know that okay this shop can sell this one so, so we understand. know so you're making a bet basically yeah that if I can get them so we can like take a risk of the shop but okay I mean we we want to help them I for this understand yeah because I mean I don't want them to close down <laughs> but I know Never heard this story before. Mm. Did you talk about this in public or no? Uh, actually, we just talk with the chops. We we try to But like find out. But you never promoted the fact that you uh, did this no. as a firm because we try to like find out like what's the problem and what's the issue that okay, COVID like we cannot sell anything, so the shop uh it's closed and how how can we do? Right. And then they have to like pay off the things or like maybe we just like offer them for the short term right. loans. Right. Do you know any other startup in Thailand that lent their Basically, lent their partners money so that they could get through COVID. Do you know anybody else that has done this? I'm not sure. I've never heard this before. About this, uh-huh. but I think that's actually quite amazing. Mm, yeah, and then because it's a real partnership. Yeah, and then I also like got some feedback from the partner. That's like thank you very much from that time because like mm-hmm. I can have some money to like uh, running into well, the to business. Just to survive, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Just to survive. So I want to ask you this. When you started this company, it was you, right? So it was Samir, you said, and what's the other guy's name? Oh, uh, Vadim. Vadim. Yeah. Right. You said they built a house. <laughs> you brought the products. But there's only one lady in the C-suite, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right only now. Mm-hmm. Was that purposeful on their part? Were you just the best <laughs> candidate? Do you know what I mean? Uh, yes, yes. I don't. I know what you mean. Uh, I think maybe it's just like coincident that I'm. I'm a woman as well. Right. Yeah, and I mean, if you sell the beauty product, so it's good that you can see the girls. Yeah. F- I mean, fair enough. Uh, But <laughs> have you had experiences where you were very conscious of the fact that you were an entrepreneur who was female, and that most of the other entrepreneurs around were male? Yeah, because like, uh, I think like we went to lots of event, right? Like in Thailand, and then. Like they have only guys to <laughs> But like you, do this startup. But if you had this experience, so you're standing with Vadim, you're standing with Samir, and you're standing there with the T-shirt on. Mm-hmm. And do they think you are the co-founder? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's good. It's not a problem. Yeah. 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 It's not a problem. So you don't feel any. What's the right word? You just don't feel any different than any of the no, other. No, I don't feel anything. I just feel that like we are. I mean, we're the same. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And have you guys raised money recently? Uh, yes. This year? I'm mean, not this year, obviously, but last, last year. year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you talk about how much? Uh, maybe like not exact number, yeah, but it's, it's just like one amount of some amount of money that okay. we raised. Uh-huh. That's awesome. Yeah. And does that mean you're going to use that money to keep expanding in Thailand, or will you try uh, to expand outside? Actually, we outside? have actually we have like plan to go overseas. Yeah, in like, in Southeast Asia, okay. maybe like try to do some research, and then we know like what we have to go, what country that we have to go, but it's the COVID thing, so that's why like we we cannot do it now. But for we sure. have planned when to go for sure. You do as well. Yeah. And how many people are in the company right now? Uh, around thirty. Oh wow, that's 30 big. Thirty now, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really big. So mostly commercial team. <laughs> so mostly they work for you. Yeah, because like yeah. <laughs> Should I let you go and go back to your office and start yelling at people? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and is your company all in Thai? Uh, Remember we talked about this before. When you were at Zalora, you said they forced you to speak English. Uh-huh. What do you force people to speak at work? Uh, actually, they have to like know English, right? I mean, <laughs> it's it's pretty simple that you have to like know English. But yeah. it's not just a business for foreigners, right? You must mm-hmm. have plenty of Thai clients, and also you have your partners on the on the sorry on the spa side are also mm-hmm. Thai, right? Yeah, but I mean, like, I just want someone who can speak English as well because, like, maybe you have to communicate internal and I mean, mostly I mean, mostly we speak Thai, but I mean, it could be better if you can like, speak English as well. I don't yeah. disagree with you. Mm. So when you look around at the Thai startup ecosystem, mm-hmm. you were in Zalora, so you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. What do you think are some of the things that have changed over the past? I don't oh, know, five I think, years. I think it's changed besides a, COVID, right? Yeah, I think it's changed a lot. Like for example, maybe <clears throat> if you think about like five years ago, mm. if you want to go 
if you want to buy like some clothes, you have to like go to shopping mall and then buy. Maybe like they don't have like online much compared to this time. Okay. Yeah, and then like, okay, for example, Zara. So you don't have to like to go to the mall anymore. You can just like buy, and then now we have like lots of online for shopping. Right. <laughs> When you just lie down, you can like just buy everything. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's, it's it's pretty. I mean, it has been changed a lot. In a good way, <laughs> I think so. I think it's yeah. expanded quite a bit. And what do you think about the mobile experience? Mm. Right. So you have an app, right? Right. Yes. Is can you book Goabi on a computer as well, on a regular laptop? Uh, yes, yes. Uh huh. Okay. And desktop, yeah, you can book. And mm-hmm. what do you think is the better experience? Uh, I think like for mobile, right? Right. So I mean, like you have. The limit space that you have to like put everything into the mobile. Right. So like it's a challenge for us as well that like how can you put everything into like the mobile? I mean, so talking about uh to create the design. So like as my co-founder, they are European, right? So right. they have like clean things like IKEA style, you know, right. like very clean, very minimal. I know. Maybe they have only like four tabs. Maybe it's spa. Massage, uh, eyelash. Oh, I mean, I, I don't remember it's because okay. it's been yeah. And then we feel like I don't know what to click. So it's just one, two, or three. So it doesn't fit with local people. Interesting. Yeah, because like uh, for Thai people, they like to for local, right? So they like to like maybe like see this thing right. or like try to see this thing. So that's why like. Uh, you can you can see like our application now. You have mobile banners. You have uh like lots of tap to to click into. You have location wise. Maybe if you are in Nana, you can just like click in this area, mm-hmm. or you are uh you like to do nails. So we have like twenty nails section for you. So it's kind of like lots of section for you to select. Right. So mm. why do you think the design <coughs> sensibility is so different? Mm-hmm. You're right in Europe. It's minimalist, clean, very clean. There's like almost nothing there. Mm-hmm. It's intuitive, but maybe counterintuitive at the same time. But in Asia, and I don't think it's just in Thailand, there's just so much more visible information. Mm-hmm. Why is that? I think maybe they like to like finding or discover everything. So if you can see like one, two, three, so it's done. They like to find something which is. The best for you. Right. So maybe if you click on this, and then I try to compare with this, I try to like compare to other shop. Which one is the best promotion? So it means that you have experience to feeling with it. So that's why like the more like you have lots of things, so it's it's good for you. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Before I let you go, what's gonna change the game <laughs> in mm-hmm. Thailand for technology startups? Mm, talking about technology in Thailand, right? Mm. So. Uh, like as I mentioned to you, like it's if I'm the spa owner, right. so if I don't have money, so I have to go directly to the bank, mm-hmm. prepare lots of document, and I don't know if you get the loan or not. So I mean, if you go <coughs> step by step, right. but I mean for now, if you have okay, go a bit. Mm-hmm. So I mean, we offer short term loans to the customer. I mean, you don't have to uh, prepare all the document because we know all the transaction that you have. So it means that it's kind of like easier in the present time that you don't have to like go into like the big corporate to have like the prepare of the information. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's really yeah. interesting. Mm-hmm. Really interesting. And some of like because Goa B, we are uh, the application that combine uh, like gather everything for beauty services, right? So you don't have to go directly to one shop and then book, and then if you work in Siam, mm-hmm. so like, uh, what's the good shop in Siam? But this application, so they have all the things to you already. Got it. Yeah. So I mean, I it's it's not only beauty and spa. So it's food as well. It's a hotel. I mean, it's it's easier like for for the tr- present time. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try again. Yeah. Okay. We have to try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in and doing this today. Whip okay. Wong, Sir Sack. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> TDPK Podcasts, Thailand Game Changer, inside the minds of Thailand's innovators.